Hello, Scott Pridemore along with Mike Hagee. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're gonna kick off a series, a vlog series. We're going to profile areas around Charlotte and neighborhoods. So today we are in the South Park area. This is exciting, what do you think, Mike? I uh, love it. It's a beautiful day out here and South Park is a quintessential Charlotte neighborhood that we have to talk about, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, let's face it. Charlotte has grown tremendously in recent years. You know, when people relocate into Charlotte, a lot of people ask about South Park. We're really trying to give some additional detail that you may not be able to find online about the South Park area. One thing I love is that you've got a, a major retail center, but then you have these smaller retail centers that are almost the center all of itself. For example, like Phillips Place. Oh, absolutely. Phillips Place, actually, I just saw in the news this morning how they're going to redevelop the theater into a 10-story office tower. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so office space is another draw for South Park. New Core Steel, Piedmont Natural Gas, Coca-Cola. They have a home office here in South Park and certainly Atrium Health. There's actually an emergency room here in South Park. There's a differentiation between South End and South Park and a lot of folks will generally say South Charlotte as a, as a general region, but South Park is the closer you are to this amazing mall, it's really nestled between neighborhoods, beautiful sweeping trees, tree-lined communities, very walkable around the retail center, and right now we're actually outside of the amphitheater. Uh, which is awesome, Scott. What you we come here all the time for oh, different events. Oh, absolutely. They're actually setting up for a musical event come, uh, happening this weekend, and they have generally four or five throughout the spring and summer, and then they ramp it up once more for another four or five events, outdoor musical events in the fall. So let's talk a little bit about geography and and where we are with some points of interest, Mike. Absolutely. Well, we're nestled in South Park, and it's only ten minutes from Uptown Charlotte and about 10 minutes to the airport. Uh, it is just geographically one of the best locations in Charlotte. Oh, definitely. I am a cyclist. I love to get out on the bike early in the morning or on the weekend. And what I love about living in South Park is that I can jump on the bike. I could ride through 14 different neighborhoods on an hour and a half ride. There are lots of offerings in South Park, whether it be attached townhomes, condominiums, or single family dwellings. There is so much to offer everyone. Scott, you wanna talk about the different neighborhoods South Park oh, has to offer? Absolutely, sorry to interrupt. So um, <laughs> yeah, let's talk a little bit about first Berkeley Downs. It's directly behind South Park Mall itself. Prices in Berkeley Downs generally range from high 500s to around the 1.8 million. Generally, what you'll find in the lower end of Berkeley Downs is going to be maybe a mid-century ranch or a split level in the higher end of Berkeley Downs, you might find homes that are newer homes that are infill, that have been rebuilt. The next neighborhood I want to mention is Foxcroft. Foxcroft, for the most part, was developed in the 60s and 70s. So the price for Foxcroft generally you'll find in the 850 range, north of 3 million. Mountain Brook is another fantastic neighborhood in the South Park area. A lot of ranch homes, two-story, as well as some basement homes. And there is a swim and racket club within the Mountain Brook neighborhood. So those are just a few neighborhoods that we wanted to mention. Please keep in mind there are plenty of other fantastic neighborhoods within the South Park area. Whether we're talking about Town & Country, Beverly Woods, Cameron Wood, Park Crossing, and I would tell you there are probably another good 14 neighborhoods because the geographic area of South Park is fairly large. Mike, let's talk a little bit about the local schools, public as well as private. So a lot of the South Park area is zoned for the public high school of Myers Park High. Because South Park is a large area, there are numerous schools, whether it be elementary, middle school, or high school. I do want to speak to some of the private school options within the South Park area with Charlotte Country Day, Providence Day, as well as Charlotte Prep. I don't know about you, Scott, but I love being around some amazing restaurants in South Park. I can tell you 131 Main is one of my favorites here in South Park. Ruth Chris, if you go for steak, that's a great option. Well, Cowfish is probably goes yeah. down as one of the 
Just yeah. a wide variety. Yao Fao is another for fast food. Brick's Pizza and Foxtroth Wine. It's hard to say just one over the other. There's so many great options. South Park is a luxurious neighborhood that has so much appeal for so many people. If you're coming to Charlotte, North Carolina, you're curious about what the city has to offer, hands down, unequivocally, you have to experience South Park firsthand. South Park runs the gamut in terms of all age ranges and a variety of different experiences that you're looking for, whether it be recreation and nature, to live, work, play. There's so many great options. I've enjoyed this conversation as we've discussed and explored South Park in hopes that people that are watching this video get value from it. Look forward to our next video. Absolutely.